Good evening and thank you for joining us everybody. I'm Lee Nelson and I'm Cindy Williams in Augusta. Parents who don't want to give their children vaccines lost another vote, possibly the last one. The Senate voted in favor of the controversial vaccine bill and sent it to Governor Mills that followed an emotional hour long rally at the State House. News Center's Don Kerrigan is here with the story right now. Hey, Don. It was emotional at times, Lee and Cindy. The rally this morning at the State House was probably the largest gathering yet of the group that's been fighting to keep the current exemptions to Maine's vaccine rules. As we just said, they lost the vote, but say the fight is far from over. Several hundred people, many of them parents with young children, took their battle to the State House one more time. They want to keep the current religious and philosophical exemptions to Maine's immunization law. There's also a current medical exemption, but many of the parents claim doctors are too quick to deny those exemptions. They argue that vaccines carry a risk to some children and say it should be the parents' decision to whether to vaccinate, not the government's. If our right to decide what is injected into our bodies is wrongfully taken from us, what meaningful rights do we have? If our children are denied from going to school or summer camp because we have made the informed decision not to vaccinate, what rights do we have? Look at these children. We can't inject toxic chemicals in our kids and not know what that's doing, not really look. But those arguments did not change the final result. The Senate voted 19 to 16 to pass the vaccine bill. That was the last vote needed by lawmakers and send it on to Governor Mills, who appears at this point likely to sign it. Now, Democratic Senator Linda Sanborn, who's also a physician, uh, talked about science uh, indicating that vaccines are safe for most people, that they ca carry a small risk but provide great rewards, they say, she said, in pre uh, preventing disease. Uh, many, many physicians agree with that position, as does the main CDC. So at this point, is this argument over, other than waiting for Governor Mills to sign it? Um, I don't think so. I think mm -hmm. the uh, the opponents group say they're going to try to put pressure on Governor Mills. Uh, whether that will work or not will remains to be seen. If she signs it into law, uh, they say they're going to continue the fight, have not specified how, but uh, that could be a people's veto petition drive, mm -hmm. which we've seen a few times right. in the past. Mm -hmm. And some have even suggested there should be a court challenge. So far from over. Interesting. Interesting. All right, Don, thank you so thank much. You.